I guess you could say what I do is part art, part science, part curiosity and investigation. I find Florida to be really, really fascinating. I mean, right now we're here at Rookery Bay. And just on this little boardwalk, we've seen scrub, we've seen mangrove communities, we've seen uh, salt marsh prairies. we I mean, just a little bit of everything is here. So many people don't even know what Florida's really like. In one state, with the boundaries we give it, we have so much here that people really just drive by every day and don't see. So I tend to notice the little things. So I'm the person who says, oh, look at that interesting lichen, or there's a tiny bug in a web. You know, to me, that little thing tells a whole story. And in a sense, people would say, well, what, of what purpose is this? But it's the same purpose, I think, that underlies everything we do. We want to know about things. We're driven by the need to experience things, and we're driven by the need to know what is out there? And what does it mean for us? People connect and have emotional responses. They will then want to protect and conserve. It's not an overriding issue, but I think it does lie beneath some of what motivates me. You know, because without nature, really, we have nothing. I mean, our environment is all we have. And if you want to look at it from a dollars and cents point of view, if we have no environment, we don't live. We can't produce, we can't be capitalists, we can't, we can't raise our families. We have to think about those things. And we have to think about the future.